I'm Karen Fry with Girlfriends Talk Sports, and my guest is Seth Joyner. He's here in Arizona, and it is the end of January, and it is absolutely beautiful. I know people must be hating us. That's haterade. Look at the sun coming down. He's got his Oakleys on. So look, we have some predictions here. You know, I'm from New York. You're from New York. This has got to be a great Super Bowl. Patriots, come on. Are you a Giant fan? I'm from New York. Okay. I'm not a Giant fan. Okay, interview over. <laughs> no, just get <laughs> I'm not a Giant fan, but. Why? Why? Why not? Well, because, I mean, I played in the NFC East. We played against them twice a year, every year um, during my career. So, you know, those rivalries never go away. But talking about the, the prediction for the game, yeah. you know, the Giants are playing well. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, kind of symbolic of how they played when they won in 2007 they were playing pretty bad at the end of the year and then all of a sudden things started to come to get come together um, at the end of the season they made it to the playoffs and got hot made a made a run and beat new england in in in, in 2007. Um, i think this game is a little bit different you know i think that tom brady you know is really on a mission yeah um, the window career-wise is kind of closing for him he knows and he understands that you know, they've got some older players that know and understand that. But at the same time, I think their offense presents some some problems for the Giants defensively. Everyone will say, well, the Giants have got a great defensive line. They're going to get to Brady and put a lot of pressure on him. Um, but I think what you'll see is you'll see New England come out and really try to establish the running game in the first half to kind of change the mindset, you know, of the Giant players and the Giant defensive coordinator. And in turn, I think that will open up um, the passing game for them, and that's really what they want to do is throw the ball, but you, sometimes you have to run it in order to be able to pass it. And, right. and, and defensively, um, the Patriots have been playing pretty good the last two weeks. You know, they they're, they ended the season ranked dead last in defense, and I, I honestly believe that they come to a point where they're just tired of everybody talking about how bad they are, yes. you know, defensively. Yes. And you look at them the last two weeks, they play extremely well. They did. Um, but isn't that what happens in championships? They rise to the top. I mean, the, the winners rise when it is time to play. They play. So, look, we're going to wrap up this section, uh, uh, session for girlfriends. But who is going to take away the trophy? Who is who's it going to be? I think the Patriots take this one. I really do. Okay. He says Patriots. I don't. <laughs> girlfriends talking sports every day of the week. Catch us back here.